Most environments are passive, deaf, dumb, and blind, unaware of their inhabitants and unable to assist them in a meaningful way. In contrast, an active environment is a physical space that can sense and respond appropriately to its inhabitants and their activities. Music FX is an example of an active fitness center environment that senses its inhabitants, knows their musical preferences, and automatically adjusts the music to best suit the group of people working out at any given time. Let's have a look at one fitness center to see how Music FX has improved its environment. Hi, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. You know, this uh, music is really slow to work out to. Can you play something faster, like kind of dance? Yeah, that's a great station. Sure. Oh, thank okay. you. Great. That'll get us moving. Hi, how are you? Good. 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 Hey, uh, we listen to this stuff all the time. Can we try something else? Like what? Mm, how about hot country? I'm not sure. Not everyone's gonna like country. Yeah, I know, but just this once? Okay, just this once. Alright, thanks, man. Is this country? Yeah. Oh, gosh, this is horrible. Why are they playing country? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like country. It's nice for a little change of pace. No, no, it's awful. Country? Is this real? Yeah, somebody requested it. I can't work out the country music. How about something like classic rock? Thank goodness they changed the station. I like it a lot better. I don't know. I really don't like this old stuff. Oh, it's better than country. Ugh. So as you can see, catering to the diverse musical preferences of a group of people is difficult. In fact, pleasing all the people all the time is not humanly possible. But what if it was possible to use technology to create an intelligent environment, one that knows everyone's preferences and dynamically adjusts itself to its inhabitants? This was the insight behind Music FX. So let's see how Music FX would have handled Previous scenario. She's gonna be too. Hi, ladies. Hi. How are you doing, Eric? Good. Too. I can't believe it's already. I know it. She really keeps us moving. <laughs> I like this music. This is good music, though. Yeah. Keep me going. Yeah. Music. Hey, Eric. Hey, how you doing? Not bad. Good. Hey, this is cool. Yeah. Hi, Eric. Hey, how you doing? Fine, how you doing? Good. Now that you've seen Music FX in action, let's talk about how it works. Music FX knows who's working out in the fitness center, what they'd like to listen to, and then selects the music to best suit that group of people. It knows who's working out in the fitness center because people badge in as they enter the room. It knows what they like to listen to because it has a database of musical preferences for all fitness center members. Their ratings on how well they like or dislike each of 91 different kinds of music. And as each person enters or leaves the fitness center, the all-knowing music FX uses its awareness of the presence and the preferences of everyone in the room to select the music that is most likely to please the people there at any given time. Yeah. Let's walk through the previous scenario from an insider's point of view. Music FX represents musical preferences on a five-point scale. A rating of two indicates a loved genre, a rating of negative two indicates a hated genre. When Teresa and Sharon entered the fitness center and badged in to Music FX, their preferences were added to the current pool of preferences. As you can see from this table, Teresa and Sharon share a common hatred for light jazz and a love for hottest hits. Music FX calculates the group preference for a genre 
by normalizing each person's preference for that genre to a non-negative integer, squaring that number to widen the gap between loved genres and liked genres, and then summing those values for all the current inhabitants of the fitness center. As might be expected, we see that Hottest Hits has the highest group preference value when Teresa and Sharon are the sole inhabitants. MusicFX uses a weighted random selection operator so that genres with high group preference values are more likely to be chosen than genres with lower values. In the preceding scenario, we simplify the process by assuming MusicFX would choose the top ranked genre, in this case, Hottest Hits. When Eric entered the fitness center, his preferences were added to the current pool. Eric's hatred for Hottest Hits, which was playing when he arrived, knocked it out of its first place berth. As you may recall, Eric loves Hot Country, but Teresa's hatred of that genre keeps it in fourth place. Instead, Coffee House Rock, a station loved or liked by all three inhabitants, becomes the top ranked genre. Again, for simplicity, we assume that this is the genre selected by MusicFX. Finally, when Tom enters the fitness center, his love for classic rock is not enough to overcome the other's dislike for that genre, leaving it in fifth place. However, MusicFX is able to use its detailed knowledge of the presence and preferences of its inhabitants to identify modern rock as a genre that is liked or loved by all four inhabitants. While MusicFX cannot please all the people all the time, it is able to please most of the people most of the time. MusicFX has been a big hit in our fitness center environment, but this kind of technology can be used to create smarter, friendlier environments in other settings as well. You can imagine restaurants or retail stores using MusicFX to better cater to their clientele, creating more personalized dining or shopping experiences. We believe systems like MusicFX will enable groups of people to exert influence over all kinds of shared physical environments, making for a kinder, gentler future.